Hey, hi, and hello! Welcome or welcome back to Lilypad. I'm your host, Lails, and sorry I haven't been updating. I had a bit of a busy month, but I'll be back to updating regularly very soon. As usual, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you want me to draw next. Follow my Instagram page, link in the description, and that's all I got for you today. Let's get into the video. Okay, so for today, we'll be drawing the Sanderson sisters, Winifred, Sarah, and Mary. Um, so, sorry, by the way, sorry this video is a little late. I was supposed to post it in October, but the month was, the month was really busy, so that's why you're getting it in, like, the beginning of November. But it's fine, and this will be, totally be the last time I do this. Yeah, I'll keep up with my time management better. Um... Now, for the sketches, this this drawing was really intimidating me at first, and it took me so long to get started on because I, as you know, I usually just draw like half body things if you've seen my past videos, except for the create the character challenge, um, but mostly I do half the body and like it's pretty simple, but for this one, not only did I do full body, I did three characters, which is kind of new for me right now um also if you have watched my past videos you'll know that i usually do like one or two no not one two or three sketches before i start getting into the line art but for this one i did not and that would be because i have a lot to cover in um a short amount of time and it was not wanting to make this video too long so i and also i was i was already playing in my sketchbook previously so i guess you could just count that as sketch one and then i just cleaned it up a bit and went right into the line art um so yeah i'm line arting mary line arting i'm doing mary right now um to and i want to keep it sort of complex but sort of simple because i wanted to get all the detail in their costumes of course i'm not gonna get like every wrinkle in every fold but i tried to keep i tried to keep it pretty real pretty real close to their actual costumes their costumes were very intricate that i wanted to kind of display all of that and not take anything out um so i think i think winifred's costume might be the most well is definitely the most detail oriented um they all have a lot of detail in them but you know also for the record i have never watched this movie um yeah i know they came out with the hocus pocus 2 and everyone was talking about it for a while but and then it kind of died down but i have never watched that's where i got this that's where i got the idea to do this one from um, but I've never watched Focus Focus 1 or 2, so I really don't know much about them. I, of course, had to do some research to a certain extent to be able to make this video, but I really don't know that much, so don't worry. You don't gotta worry about spoilers in this video if you haven't watched it either, because I haven't watched it, so there will be none. Um, for this drawing, definitely, I used a lot of references. Like, you can see three references right now, but, like, off off the drawing device i had like two million pulled up so i could get every detail and try to get every detail or something like that um i also uh pulled their colors exactly from the photos um obviously adding a bit of vibrance to them so they wouldn't be so dull but yeah it was really the coloring part was kind of hard but also pretty simple since i didn't have to come up with colors myself um, but yeah, um, the, by the favorite, my favorite outfit out of all of them will be Sarah's because my favorite to draw in the most complicated was Winifred's, but Sarah's I feel like is like if I saw it on a regular basis, everyday thing, I would actually think it looks really good because I don't know, maybe that's just more, hers leans more towards my style. Of course, all the costumes are pretty interesting and pretty fun and funny but you know hers i say is the best and she might be my favorite character even though i haven't watched the movie but yeah um the inspiration for this pose i too with the extent of knowledge that i had to learn to do this i learned that you know winifred is the oldest 
and she was kind of the ring leader so I decided to have like her in the middle of it all and kind of sitting and leading I guess um in Sarah and Mary to the sides I know they're probably they're all equally important but you know she's the oldest and I think Sarah is the middle child no no Sarah is the youngest again I haven't watched this um in in Mary's the I don't know I don't even know why I'm trying to guess um yeah but ignoring that you correct me in the comments if I'm wrong Winifred is the oldest Sarah is the youngest and Mary is the middle child I believe um but yeah next i will be doing the sleeves oh i'm already doing the sleeves yeah um the sleeves were so complicated and they were really intimidating me and i was wondering if i was gonna do them but then i decided to do them because i wanted to get every detail but man were they a new challenge they were they were like those sleeves alone took me about like 20 minutes even though it's taking like a few seconds in the video, it took a while because I wanted to get like all of them down, the little spider webs. And next I'm doing the base color for her skirt, which I pulled straight from the lovely little references. I think after this, I'll be starting on the chair. The chair was just a thing I decided to throw in there. You know, since she's going to be in the middle, might as well have it like, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they were meeting or something. Yeah. Then we have shading. Shading I kept pretty simple. Um, so you wouldn't really see it all too much. So yeah, I shaded purple in the normal usual spots. And just turned the opacity down. And then it was all good. Um, I also did shading for their clothes. But like I said, it didn't really matter. Because you can't actually really see it. Because their clothes are kind of dark. And the shading is kind of light and turned down low. But oh well. Because I did it anyway. Um, the blush, the makeup for Winifred is kind of funny to me, because, you know, she has those two buck teeth almost, and then she has her red lipstick, but yeah. Next is background, because this video is coming to an end, and yeah, I decided to keep it pretty simple, and keep with pumpkins instead of like a broomstick or anything like that, because I want to keep it simple, this drawing was already pretty complicated. Um, but yeah, that's all. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming it. Have a wonderful day full of art, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!